guys, Justin with Everyday Gunner. We're back out here at our, again, sunny range. And uh, the wind's cooperating with us a little bit today, so we decided to come out and shoot some video for you guys. Um, you know, when you're talking about a home defense weapon, um, you know, we always talk about, oh, that mythical one-shot stop. Uh, a lot of time people talk about, oh, well, with a 45 you can get a one-shot stop. Oh, well, with a 9mm you can't get a one-shot stop. Things like that. And uh, there's one caliber, one gun, that uh, definitely takes the cake as far as expected one-shot stops, and that would be a 12-gauge shotgun. So, what we have with us today is a Remington 870 pump shotgun. Uh, we brought that out. This is not part of the Everyday Gunner collection. Um, it is something like what I would want to get as far as a 12-gauge shotgun, but um, it's not mine right now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot some slugs out of it, or one slug. <laughs> and uh, so what we have, slugs are hard to find right now, at least where we are. Um, so what we got was some fusion deer hunting slugs, basically. Um, deer or you can probably take elk, no problem with that. But uh, uh, hunting slugs, sabo slugs, they're 7, seven eight ounce slug. Um, you can see that in there. It does have a hollow point on the slug. Um, three inch <coughs> shell there. And so we're going to get that loaded up. We're going to back off here and um, I'm going to take a shot into our 10% gelatin uh, that we made in the everyday gunner kitchen. And you know, if the reputation of the 12 gauge is accurate, I think there's no way we'll get a second shot into the gel. We should see just tons of huge damage and we really want to prove for ourselves, okay, if we really think, hey, does the 12 gauge shotgun have that one shot stop reliable performance and uh so give us a second here we'll get set up in position we'll get our gel put out we'll take the shot for you okay seven eight ounce slug sabo slug we're gonna put that into our remington 870 shotgun and get that uh in there okay joel's gonna get in position take our shot and show you what we get Here we are down range looking at <laughs> the ballistic gel after we shot our uh, 7 8 ounce um, fusion sabo slug out of the Remington 870 into the gel block and uh, did a lot of damage. Um, if you bring the, bring the camera around to the front here, Joel, we'll take some still photos of this and we'll post it on our blog, but we haven't touched this at all. This is what it looked like after the shot hit it. Just ripped it to pieces. Um, you can actually see, I don't know if you can on the video, but it's basically dipped in the center because of how much it blew out of the center there. It's dropped the block in the middle. It's hollowed it out. Um, <clears throat> we found uh, the plastic Sabo. <laughs> Looks like that came all 18 inches through the gel block and stopped <clears throat> before it went into the water jug, bounced off the water jug, went through both water jugs, emptied those of water, <laughs> and kept going somewhere. We did try looking for the uh, expanded slug downrange, uh, but we weren't gonna find it in the hill that we shoot into here. <clears throat> so what we have is uh, 18 inches of gel penetration. Came out the back here a little bit low. <laughs> Apparently I tend to shoot low <laughs> with the long guns, but uh, came out just a little bit low, went through both water jugs. The total distance here in penetration is about 29 inches. Um, 11 of those inches being the water jugs. So uh, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily tell us anything about the distance it would have penetrated because we lost it. But um, we're still going to cut it open. Just take a look at the massive damage. I'm going to put one cut just like two and a half, three inches back just because of <laughs> the fact that there's so much crushing damage on this block. So we're going to put one here. And again, just... <laughs> Look at that gel block. Okay, so here we are. Big, big uh, damage. You could see, you could see that jump in the video uh, when we shot it. You could see the whole block just jump. Um, <clears throat> tons of tons of energy just being transferred to the gel block. Um, basically, top to bottom in the gel block is that main uh, temporary wound cavity that split, and it's coming a good uh, <clears throat> about four and a half inches out in the gel block. Um, you can look in from the end. 
pretty clean shot of the temporary wound cavity. Um, you see it just <laughs> splitting out like this. You see the cracks. You see new cracks starting in there. So let's go ahead, <clears throat> back it up another four inches or so. Put another cut here. And uh, see what we've got just a little bit farther back here. Okay. All right. So it's smaller than the first cavity, but we still got a really big wound cavity. Um, <clears throat> again, the, the bottom's just completely blown out there. Um, and if you look in from the end again, Joel, um, just puts that on display. We've got temporary wounding way up to the top of the block here, all the way down to the bottom, splitting that wide open. Still just a huge wound cavity at, you know, something like seven inches back so far. Okay. So let's take it, we're gonna shorten down some of these cuts a little bit just to see where it starts to die off a little bit. So let me come back another three inches. This would be around 10 inches, what we're looking at now. Okay, still just, still just has so much energy behind that huge slug, that huge, you know, almost a full ounce slug has so much energy that it's carrying into the gel block um, that just the temporary wound cavity is continuing on really, really deep into the, uh, the gel block. All right, we're starting to see just a little bit of fragmenting. Um, there's some sitting on here. There's a little bit of lead there in my hand. I don't know if you can see that, but a uh, little bit of fragmenting. Um, you could tell where the actual slug penetrated on the front of the block because you could see um, that kind of gray coloration coming off of the lead slug. But let's split this last section in half or so. Um, so this will be about 14 inches. About 14 inches or so is what I would say is ideal for home defense. <clears throat> Again, that's not what that slug was designed for, okay? That slug is designed for hunting, <clears throat> but it's just what we can find, okay? So, there's more fragmenting. Um, there is a little bit of copper jacket and some more lead busted off in the gel. Just still just driving huge energy into the gel block, expanding it out. We've still got from here all the way to the bottom of the block, we've got damage. All right, let's put one more cut since we're still seeing temporary cavity. Uh, let's go back about an inch and a half from the back as we lose a piece of the gel block off of the table, slid off. This, uh, the laminate that we have on our tabletop, which we'll re be replacing soon, especially since the uh, 12 gauge slug here just destroyed the tabletop. The laminate on top of this wood uh, just gets super, super slick when it gets wet at all. Um, <clears throat> all right, now this is kind of interesting. Um, you can see on this one, this is the back here, you can see that crack because we have a relatively thin slice. You can see that crack the whole way that we were looking at on the front. Okay, this here. When you see that there, there's a little more fragmenting, a little more jacket, a little more lead. Okay, and on the back side, a little piece of fragment came up here all by its lonesome kind of popped out right there. Okay, again, a bit more lead. Now, I'm going to say the the uh, the box on the slugs said they expected 95% weight retention. Again, that's assuming that they're they're probably talking about shooting it into something like a deer. Um, you know, with the added toughness <laughs> that you have in a deer compared to this 10% gel, you know, between bone, cartilage, tough muscle, I just don't think there's any way it's going to retain 95% of the weight with how much fragmenting we're seeing just in this relatively soft. 10% gel, but there's not much more to see here. There's still some temporary cavity really impressively So basically there's a there's a temporary expansion cavity temporary wound cavity all the way back to about 17 17 and a half inches in the gel um, It finally starts to die off at the back here where it exits uh, You can see the exit wound right there And again came out punched right through both of our water bottles near the bottom and headed on back again Really disappointing, kind of sad that we didn't didn't manage to find the slug laying somewhere on the ground or buried in the dirt downrange a little bit. But um, this is definitely the most damage I have seen shooting in these gel blocks. We've shot 32 Winchester Special. We've shot 7.62 by 39. 
Um, we've shot a bunch of pistol rounds. We've shot a whole bunch of stuff into the gel so far. Not as much as some people out there, but we have shot quite a bit into these gel blocks and nothing's come close to the amount of damage that we're seeing in the gel in the sense that it's just carrying so much energy with that heavy slug uh, that it's bringing that temporary wound cavity all the way back almost to 18 inches. So, um, you know, I don't have any way to predict exactly what that would mean to a threat if, you know, if a threat was coming into your, <clears throat> to your front room or whatever, coming at your wife, coming at your kid in your house, and you were to use that uh, slug on a threat, you know, I can't predict exactly what that would what that would mean to the threat but um it would do a lot of damage <laughs> i can tell you that much so um yeah what, what we see is just a ton of damage out of 12 gauge slug um i would say that all the all the talk about the 12 gauge slug being a one shot stop are about as validated as i could have imagined here in this test just blew up the 18 inch gel block that we had out here so i uh, appreciate you guys watching our video <clears throat> if you will Go over to www.everydaygunner.com. Uh, we do have our YouTube channel. Uh, that's youtube.com slash everydaygunner. We do have a Facebook setup. Again, that's facebook.com slash everydaygunner. Check us out there. Uh, it'll, we'll tell you a little bit more about each video that's coming out, and we'll give you a post every day just talking about some gun stuff, all right? Appreciate it. Come back. See us next time, and we'll catch you later.